The Irish Cancer Society, Beaumont Hospital and RCSI University of Medicine and Health Sciences are deeply committed to improving the lives of patients with cancer. For the last 50 years, lung cancer has been the most common cancer of men and women worldwide and in Ireland and can often lead to poor outcomes for patients. However, in the last five to 10 years, there have been rapid improvements in lung cancer treatment and testing that are improving the lives of patients. In order to bring some of these advances to patients, Beaumont Hospital, RCSI, and the Irish Cancer Society have come together to develop the Lung Cancer Outreach Program. This program of four projects on lung cancer will bring improvements for patients with lung cancer, focusing all the way from diagnosis to treatment, and now also to early detection. One of the four projects focuses on lung cancer screening. This is a way to recognize the signs of lung cancer early that has led to improved survival for patients. This pilot project is called the Lung Health Check and is funded by the Irish Cancer Society and the European Union EU for Health Solace Consortium. The Lung Health Check project is a trial aimed at understanding how we may be able to carry out lung cancer screening effectively in Ireland. Lung cancer screening is a way to find lung cancer early, before symptoms appear. When we catch it early, it's often treatable with surgery or radiation, which can potentially cure the cancer. Screening involves a special type of CT scan that takes detailed images of the lungs using very low levels of radiation and detecting small tumours much earlier than a regular X-ray. In this pilot programme, we're integrating Centric Health GP practices directly into the process. And by using mobile units in the community, we're making it convenient for those at higher risk, especially those between the ages of 55 to 74 with a history of smoking, to access these important scans closer to home. Lung cancer screening is already reducing deaths in countries like the US and the UK by over 20%, and now we're trialing this approach in Ireland. If you're in the target group, you might receive an invitation for a lung health check. It's a simple, quick process that could make a huge difference in catching lung cancer early and improving outcomes. The Lung Health Check is a clinical trial run by RCSI and Beaumont Hospital with a selected number of Centric Health GP practices in North Dublin and the Northeast region of Ireland. The study aims to identify people who are at the highest risk for developing lung cancer in each GP practice and invite them for a free lung health check in the community, including a CT scan of the chest. This is lung cancer screening. We are contacting people in selected Centric Health GP practices aged between 55 and 74 years at the start of the study. We will send you a letter with details about the lung health check and then contact you by phone. During this phone call, a member of the team will go through questions to determine if this study is right for you. There are three main parts to a lung health check. The first is a telephone appointment. This will be a chat with one of our team members who will ring you to ask you some questions about your medical and smoking history, if any, and your family history of lung cancer. We use this information to calculate if a health check and a CT scan is appropriate for you. If it is the right thing for you, you will be invited to the second part of the study, the lung health check, which takes place in a mobile unit in a convenient location in the community. At your lung health check on the mobile unit, you will meet a nurse who will ask you questions about your lung health. And after that, you will be invited to carry out a breathing test, which measures how your lungs work. Some participants will be asked if they want to give samples for research purposes, but this is voluntary and the nurse will talk to you about it. People who currently smoke will be offered non-judgmental advice on smoking cessation, as well as a referral to HSE Stop Smoking Services. The final part of the lung health check will then involve having a CT scan of your chest in the mobile unit. The CT scan itself only takes a few minutes and the entire lung health check takes about 40 minutes. A low-dose CT scan is a special type of x-ray that takes multiple pictures of a person's lungs. This gives us a detailed picture of the lungs that can identify changes, including lung tumours. It is called low-dose because it is specially designed to reduce the amount of radiation that a patient is exposed to, to an absolute minimum. After your CT scan, a consultant radiologist will examine the scan and the results are then sent to both you, the participant and your GP, along with the plan for the next steps. If the results of the CT scan are clear, you will be invited for a repeat CT scan on the mobile unit in one year's time. If the CT scan shows a small spot on the lung called a nodule, you will be asked to come back for another CT scan in about three months time 
to make sure things are okay. We will arrange this for you. If the CT scan shows something that could be a lung cancer, you will be referred to your nearest lung clinic, either in Beaumont Hospital or Our Lady of Lourdes Hospital in Drogheda, for further tests. Sometimes, the CT scans will show something abnormal that is not lung cancer. We call these incidental findings. If an incidental finding is found that is significant, you and your GP will be informed. We will refer you to an appropriate specialist or your GP to manage the problem. If we find a new abnormality in your breathing tests, we will arrange for you to see your GP or a hospital specialist to discuss this further. Symptoms such as a cough that doesn't go away, coughing up blood, weight loss, breathlessness and chest pain can be warning signs for lung disease. Please don't ignore or dismiss these symptoms or wait for the screening test to investigate them. Instead, you should talk to your GP as soon as possible and get these symptoms looked into. We know from international evidence that the best way to screen for lung cancer is using a CT scan in people with an increased risk. Screening with CT scans usually finds a lung cancer much earlier, before people have any symptoms, and as a result, these people are nearly three times more likely to be treated with either surgery or radiation treatment that can potentially cure the problem. When found early, treatment is simpler and much more successful. Overall, lung cancer screening reduces the risk of dying from lung cancer by 20% or more. The CT scan will expose you to a small amount of radiation, but we use specially designed scanners that keeps this to an absolute minimum. Taking part in this screening pilot will not guarantee that any cancer present will definitely be found, and sometimes the lung cancer may be missed. This is called a false negative result and is rare, but can happen in lung cancer screening and other types of cancer screening. Taking part in this screening pilot will not guarantee that a cancer won't occur later, after the study is finished or in between screening scans carried out in the pilot. Sometimes, screening tests picks up something where we are initially suspicious, but then it turns out not to be lung cancer. This is called a false positive result and can be clarified with further tests once the participant is referred to their nearest lung clinic. Sometimes, screening tests can also pick up tumours that will never cause the person harm in their life, but they may go on to have tests and treatments that are not needed. This is called overdiagnosis. However, overall, the benefits of lung cancer screening outweigh the risks.